my name is Haley and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be posting a tutorial on how to crochet baby booties. This pattern is not mine. I will have the link to it and the creator in the description box of this video. I am terrible at reading patterns so I thought I would make this video um, for anybody else who isn't really great at reading patterns and needs kind of like a hands-on tutorial to learn how. So let's get into the video. So I will be using um, this impeccable yarn, oh, sorry about that, <laughs> in the color blue, and I will be using a four millimeter crochet hook. As the pattern indicated, you could use a 3.5, 4, 5, or 6 millimeter crochet hook, depending on the age of the child that you're crocheting these little booties for. So, to start out, we are going to do our usual slip knot and put it onto our hook. Then we're going to chain 10. After you have chain 10, we're going to go back into the second stitch from the hook and put two half double crochets. So there's number one, here's number two. Now we're gonna go ahead and put in seven half double crochets across the next seven stitches. should then have one stitch left at the end. Into that stitch we are going to put five half double crochets. Now when I'm doing this I'm gonna do the first three and then kind of like turn my work and rotate to the other side of our little chain. So that's the fifth stitch, and it's gonna kind of we're gonna start turning our work and going around this way now. So we were this way, worked right to left, and now we're gonna turn our work so we can continue going right to left. And next, we're going to do another seven half double crochets in the next seven stitches. So then we're gonna go back into this first stitch from before and finish with two half double crochets. We end the round by slip stitching into our first stitch. And that is the end of round one. That's what it'll look like. For round two, we're going to chain up one and we're going to put two single crochets into that first stitch that you were already in. So you're not skipping a stitch or anything. We're going right into the beginning one here. Not only that, you're going to put two single crochets into the next stitch as well. So even though we've only gone two stitches, there should be four single crochets. Next, we are going to do four single crochets in the next four stitches. After doing that, we are going to do three half double crochets in the next three stitches. And now we are going to do two half double crochets in each of the next five stitches. So we're doing increases here. So that is what it'll look like when you have two double crochets in each of the next five stitches. Now as we're going around the other side, we are going to do three half double crochets in the next three stitches, kind of mirroring what we have on the other side of the booty. And then four single crochets. And then in the, last two, in the last two stitches, we're going to do two single crochets in each stitch. So that was one stitch, here's two. Okay, now to finish off this row, this is where I continued to mess up the pattern when I was just reading it on my own. I had a lot of confusion as to which stitch I was supposed to slip stitch into. 
At first I was putting another stitch into here or I was trying to slip stitch into this guy. But what you are going to do is you, it's gonna look like you're skipping two stitches. Like you're skipping this guy and this guy. And we're going to slip stitch into this third one right here. That will give you the correct count around. So once we have those 32 stitches around, we're going to turn, well, no, we're not gonna do anything. You're, you, you just finished like this, right? So we're just going to chain up one. And then here's another mistake that I made, you know, in my attempts to do this right. We have to go into this stitch here. We can't start on the next one like you usually do. So we're gonna start with a half double crochet in this first stitch. Half double crochet, and then two half double crochets in this next stitch. And we're going to repeat that. One half double crochet, and then two half double crochets. Now we're going to do seven half double crochets. After we finish seven half double crochets, we're going to repeat again. One half double crochet in this stitch and then two in the next. One half double crochet in this stitch and then two in the next. So we had our seven half double crochets and then one half double crochet in one stitch, two in one stitch, one in one stitch, two in one stitch. Now we are going to move on to two half double crochets in each stitch of the next two stitches. So there's two half double crochets in this stitch and then two half double crochets in this stitch. Then we are going to repeat again one half double crochet and followed by two half double crochets in the same stitch. And then we do it again, one half double crochet and two half double crochets in the same stitch. Now that that is done, we are going to do seven half double crochets. And then we're going to do it again. We're gonna do that one half double crochet followed by two half double crochets in the same stitch. Okay. And then we finish the round by skipping these two stitches and joining into the third one with a slip stitch. And it's not actually skipping those stitches because one of them is a fake stitch and the other one is our chain up one. But that's the end of our next round. So you can kind of see the foot of the shoe coming together. Before we start our round four, you should make sure that you have 42 stitches all the way around as well. Once you've done that, we're going to chain up one and we're going to do half double crochets um, in the back loop only all the way around the shoe. We are starting in the same first stitch that we always have. This one's a little bit tricky, but bear with me. Uh, you're gonna see that that kind of formed a little ridge. It naturally goes in like this, so you're gonna kind of flip it out and it's gonna form a little ridge for us. That's gonna be the bottom of the shoe. So we're skipping this one, that one, and going into this one here with our slip stitch. 
That'll be the end of round four. So round five is also pretty simple. We're going to chain up one, and we're just going to do single crochets in all 42 stitches. So starting out in this first one that we were already in, there's number one. So to finish this round, we're going to slip stitch into this first uh, single crochet up here. And for the beginning of round six, we are going to chain up one as we have this whole time, really. And we're going to do 11 single crochets starting in that same stitch like we did before. So that counts as one. Once you have your 11 single crochets, you're gonna half double crochet in the next stitch. Then we're going to half double crochet together in the next stitch, which means we're gonna go into the stitch like we would for a half double crochet, pull that yarn through, and then go into the next stitch and pull that yarn through. Yarn over and pull it through all the loops. Then we're going to half double crochet in the next stitch. And we'll repeat a half double crochet together. So into that one, two stitches over and through all the loops and then a half double crochet. Next, we are going to double crochet together, which is pretty similar. Yarn over, go into that first stitch, pull the yarn through Go into the second stitch and pull the yarn through. Yarn over, but this time we're going to pull over the first two loops on the hook and then the rest of them. Next, we're going to do a regular double crochet, you know, as you would. And then we're going to do another double crochet together. And a regular double crochet. And then one more time with the double crochet together. And a regular double crochet. Now we're gonna do one more double crochet together. Then we are going to move on to a half double crochet. and then half double crochet together. And we're going to repeat that again, half double crochet, and half double crochet together. Then we'll do one more half double crochet, and six single crochets. Then we're gonna skip one, two, and go into this with our slip stitch. And that is the end of round six. Now you should have 34 stitches instead of 42. So at this point, you get a kind of clear idea of how this flat part lays and the rest kind of comes up on the side. We're starting to decrease in the front where the toes will be. For round Seven, we are going to chain up one, and then we are going to do 13 single crochets, Sim similar to last time. We start in that first stitch. Then we're gonna do a half double crochet followed by half double crochet together. Next, we're gonna do four double crochets together. There's one. And 
knot four. And we're gonna do a half double crochet together. Regular half double crochet and then seven single crochets. And we finish out that row by skipping one, two, and doing a slip stitch into that next stitch right there. That finishes round seven. Round eight is gonna begin by chaining up. And starting in the same stitch, we're gonna do 12 single crochets. Then we're going to do a half double crochet, followed by four double crochets together. So sometimes I think it's helpful to have a visual reference here just to make sure you're going into the right stitches. Like you don't want to go into this stitch. When we're doing our double crochet together, we're going into the next one. And you know, the same thing here because this one still has a stitch in it. So when we yarn over, we're going into the stitch afterwards. It took me a couple tries to figure that one out. <laughs> Okay, after those four, we're going to do a half double crochet. And next we're gonna do six single crochets. And we're going to slip stitch into this guy over here. And that finishes up round eight. We've finished the little shoe part of it, and now we're gonna work on the cuff. For the cuff part of this tutorial, we're going to stay where we are and chain up 10. No, chain up nine. Once you have nine chained up here, we're gonna go skip that first one we're already in and go into the second with single crochets in the back loop only. Okay, so now that we've finished that, we're going to attach it to the shoe. We're going to skip the stitch we're already in and start here. So we're gonna do a slip stitch. So you can see how it's attached. And now instead of chaining up, we're gonna do a slip stitch into the next stitch as well. And turn our work specifically like this so that the yarn is in front of us. Now we're going to go into the back loop of those, the first of those eight stitches and do single crochets in the back loop only all the way up. Okay, chain up one and turn our work. We're gonna be obviously skipping the chain one. I'm still going into this stitch here. Doing single crochets in the back loop only. Again, we're not going to go into this stitch that we're already in. We're going to go into the one next to it with a little slip stitch and then another slip stitch in the next. Turn our work so the yarn is in front and go back into the back loop with these stitches. And you're going to continue like this all the way around the shoe. I'll meet you guys back there when that's finished. Okay, so just popping back in to show you guys um, that when we're slip stitching into the next stitch, it's not gonna be this one. It's gonna be the one next to it, not to be deceived because your other stitch is still coming out of this one. So go into this stitch here to slip stitch and then one more further. Then we're gonna turn and go back in. Okay, so I went into the ribbing all the way around and, uh, oops, I'll show you what I did, undo that. So when you're finishing up the eighth stitch coming back down all the way this way, you've only got a couple more, we're going to slip stitch into this one to secure that row to the end. And then in slip stitching into this one, it's, it's already in the other stitch, so what we're gonna do 
we slip stitch in and we're going to join these rows um, by going into the first stitch here and matching it over on the other side. section over so it makes a little cuff and that is it that is your crocheted baby booty um, I will put the link in the description for the pattern that I followed um, and hopefully this is helpful and that is it thank you guys so much for watching make sure to uh, subscribe turn on the post notifications bell so that you'll find out every time that I post follow me on all my socials my Instagram my Etsy and my TikTok will be linked in the description below tune in next week uh, where I will see you guys again at 12 o'clock bye